Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to book a subscription service using Stripe from a Wix website. For this thing, you're going to need a Wix website and a Stripe account. Before we get started with the API, you're going to need to create your subscription service inside your Stripe account. So let's go on to your Stripe dashboard and then click on Billing. Under Billing, click on Products. Add a new product. Give it a name. Premium subscription. You can leave these optionals empty if you want, but I'm giving them a name over here. Then click on create product. Then you can choose a nickname for your service over here. Now note that this nickname won't be visible by customers, but it could be very useful for your backend part. Leave the ID blank so it will enable Stripe to generate a random ID. And then you can select the pricing over here. If you want it to be recurring, that is you want to charge them month by month or in any other interval you can click recurring quantity or if you want to have a metered, metered usage such as Twilio you can select this but I'm going to show you how to make a recurring quantity one so currency you can select whatever currency you want does this pricing plan have multiple price tiers based on quantity actually it is supposed to be yes but I just want to show you guys quickly how the API works so I'm just gonna create say no over here and then 79 price per unit and then my billing interval is monthly you can select weekly daily every three months six months yearly or custom it's up to you so you can even give a trial period over here so under the trial period the credit card will be on the file but it won't be charged but uh, as soon as the trial period ends the plan will the credit card will get charged automatically I'm gonna leave it out for now for now and then click add pricing plan so you have it over here now let the log generate uh, okay so make sure that uh, you don't get the ID you're gonna need the ID of this plan but don't get the ID for the product go over here and click on plans from here click this and copy the ID you're gonna need this ID for your website later So when you create your own subscription website, you can make use of repeaters and database. And remember where we took the plan ID from, you can store all those plan IDs like you can make have different uh, subscription services on your Stripe account and you can store their individual plan IDs inside the database. But over here, I'm just for demonstration purpose, I'm just going to show you one. So. Just imagine that I had clicked on a repeater and I landed on this checkout page over here. So on this page, we're going to go through three stages. First of all, all right, first of all, you should not look at this. I've hard, co hard coded the plan ID on the page over here. You should not do this. In reality, it's going to look like this. And it has to be an array. So make sure you put the plan ID inside an array. But uh, for demonstration, I'm just hard coding it on the page to show you guys. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a token. You're going to encode the card, this card with the user enters over here. And you're going to send it over to Stripe and receive a token in response. Once you have that token, now this is the new addition over here in order to 
sell subscription services via Stripe you need to create a customer now in this video I'm just showing you how to create a customer if you already have a customer like if you already created a customer via the API you can update the customer details or cancel and uh, uh, change his plans accordingly that's another that's maybe I'll show that in another video but for creating a customer you're gonna send over the email address of the customer now if you look at the API you can send a lot of things uh, such as account balance description email and everything is optional the only thing you need from stripe is the customer ID which stripe is going to generate so I suggest the only thing you send is the email and the description if you want to and in return you're gonna receive a ID from stripe now this ID is going to be a customer ID which will go inside with I mean beside your item ID which is over here once you have the customer ID and the token we're gonna go ahead and create the subscription and once that is done you're gonna receive a response from stripe if the response charge if the charge ID on the response is not undefined which means the payment was accepted you can redirect them to a success page or if there was an error and if the charge ID comes back as undefined you can uh, retrieve the error receive error message received and display it on screen uh, now this this is visible at the beginning I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes but you can hide this inside a box and show it only when an error occurs so basically this is what your page looks like this is your create card function now note that I have hard coded the city country state zip uh, and everything else but you can always have an user input element to let the user of course let the user type it in so this is what your page uh, code looks like now let's go over the public uh, public file inside your public file this is where you're generating tokens so you'll have your public test uh, API key over here so in stripe you have two API keys one is the secret API key and one is the public one the public API key goes over here and it is used to generate tokens you just need to copy this copy paste this code but make sure to change the API key inside your backend now this file this is the fun these are the functions that run server side so this is your secret the your secret api key will be over here this is the subscription api first let's go over the customers api yeah over here so this is the part where you make the call to create uh, encode and then create a new customer you just need to copy paste this too uh, just remember to change your secret api key and over here this is your where we create the subscription service i mean we let the person buy the subscription and one addition i put by myself is i'm returning the error message code and type to the page so that i can display it in the event if someone enters a wrong cvv or if the card uh, number is wrong so let's go ahead and test the service now note that all your subscriptions are going to show up over here under this tab under the subscriptions tab so let's go ahead and uh, test this
Now remember to disable your button once it is clicked or insert some kind of animation like a circular animation so that someone doesn't click it twice. Let's go ahead and check this over here if the person was subscribed. And there we go. You can see that this person has been subscribed. And let's just check our events log over here. So this is how you create a subscription service. Now there are like a lot of lot of improvements that you can do. Uh, like you can clean up, you can send more data to Stripe while creating a customer. You can save the customer ID inside your Wix database so you can relate which customer, I mean who is who. Uh, so this will be it. I think this will be part one for uh, I think a three to four part video because I'm going to show you how to update a plan, cancel a plan and uh, how to update a customer profile and up, uh, delete a customer profile maybe. So, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.